Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Frank, and today I'm going to show you how to make an armor stand. How'd you do it? Can I see your designs? What's it look like off the stand? What do you use for your armor stand? Blah, blah, blah. Where'd you buy it? Everybody sent me those messages. I think it's about time I kind of showed you guys what I did. So it's a pretty easy process. No, but really, that's it. That's all I did. I hopped on Google, I looked through some forums, and I landed on uh, that Stormtrooper uh, mannequin, and the consensus seemed to be PVC pipes. It was the cheapest, quickest route, and it is a PVC pipe stick figure mannequin guy that just kind of fits the suit. Now, this is not gonna be a one-size-fits-all. Uh, my design might not work perfectly for you, and this might not even be Iron Man armor. You might be looking for Mandalorian armor, or Halo armor, whatever armor. You just want whatever you made to stand there in the room. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit of the components, and a little bit of the things I incorporated that might not have been on that other tutorial you found that actually seem to be working for me. Let's take a look. So this is the entire armor stand right here. It's literally just a PVC mannequin stick dude that uh, kind of has a little bit of a balancing act. Now what's kind of funny is I filmed this video, realized how much I hated my old armor stand, and just got done rebuilding it. So <laughs> this is the new improved version, and the old version, I'm sure some of you had seen, had a little um, stick sticking out of his butt. Uh, it, it wasn't the best solution, and uh, it didn't work too well. I had some issues with it, but I did a little bit of a revised version. You can actually see right there, and it actually just goes and leans against the wall. Now, I can lean this guy forward. I can actually pull the entire thing forward. The only th problem now is he won't stand not against a wall, where my other version, actually, I can move him anywhere in the room, and he would be just fine. So let's kind of start from the ground up and kind of talk about what we're looking at. Now, the leg, obviously, I have that just sitting there. And when you're building this, you want to start from the leg up. I've seen people make armor stands, and the legs end up being way too long, way, way too short, way too wide. You want to make this look as natural as possible. So I literally started from the shoe. Now, depending on what your armor is, mine actually incorporates real shoes, real boots. The pipe just goes into the boot itself. Now, this is a metal pipe, not a PVC pipe. Turns out I have these metal pipes in my garage that are the exact same width as PVC. So I'm actually slowly converting this into a metal armor stand, but it's a little bit of a mix for now. Now, say you don't have actual shoes and you need something to help balance. These couplers, these are uh, 90 degree angle couplers, and these are all over actually. I have them here in the hip, I have them there in the neck, in the waist, and then I have just 90 degrees over here on the shoulders. So you can get a little multitude of couplers. These are super cheap. I think these were like a dollar each, and you can actually use these as feet, and that's what I do. If I don't have the suit on the stand, I have two extra ones that just sit here and replace just to kind of help it balance. Now, I had the pipe sitting in the shoe, and then I started to kind of make it sit how I needed to. I put the shin where I needed it to go, and then I needed to get the thigh to balance. So once I had the two legs sitting where I needed them to, I needed to make a cross brace. And like I said, this is just that 90 degree coupler crossed at an appropriate length to just fit this con piece. And then I started messing with the size. Now I needed to suspend these thighs up on this bar. So I, the way it actually connects to my suit is through these little straps right here. And this is actually how I wear the armor. These buckle into a harness. But what I did is I took an extra buckle and I made a little uh, retention clip that actually just hang these, hangs these over the bar and keeps them in the perfect length. And it's adjustable in case I ever wanna mess around and move these up. So I tried to get them to sit as flush as possible on the thighs and kind of close up the knee. But you'll notice there's foam in some just kind of random spots. And what this is doing is this is helping push the, the armor forward or back, lean it, because what was happening is when the, the shin was sitting on the shoe, it was just falling back. So this actually brings it forward, this brings the thigh forward, and this keeps the thigh from moving too far in. So I just started putting foam around the stand to kind of help everything feel and fit a little more naturally. The cod piece is still kind of kicking my butt. This is my original cod piece for the suit. That's my Mark II, the, the V2 updated sitting over there. That actually doesn't fit on the armor stand, so it's a good thing I saved this first cod piece, and this is literally just gonna be a part of the armor stand, and it's just kind of secured there. I'm still working on positioning, but that's another story altogether. Now, a stand like this is very, very heavily dependent on how you actually wear the armor. Are you gonna need to incorporate your whole own system into supporting everything? 
are you actually going to need to design your own harness system just for the stand? Luckily, my suit's a little better incorporated where I don't need a bunch of buckles and straps sitting all around the, um, the stand. The only thing I had to add were these to hold it in place. Now the shoulders, I actually made them kind of taper up and it makes a little bit of a V. And the way my backpack is, it actually sits over here perfectly. And this is actually what my biceps hang off of. We'll talk about the arms in a minute. Now I just kind of made this sit here, it clips on, and then I can have the entire chest piece just literally lock onto the front with the Velcro the same way I wear it. And then it just sits a little more naturally. Now the shoulders actually clip onto the front of the chest up here so they can't they actually aren't sitting there properly right now but this set works out perfectly and look at all the room for activities you could put battery packs you could put power supplies whatever you need to put in there you can hide and you can run wires you can just really get creative with it now why did i use duct tape they actually make pvc solvent and this is a uh, a very strong solvent do not i would recommend using this outside it smells terrible and it's toxic uh very flammable be careful with this stuff if you're in the states it's purple i believe this thing needs to come apart and i'm always revising it so that's why i use duct tape i used a lot of friction fittings i actually built up duct tape to help things sit in better because i want to be able to take this apart mess with it move it around so this isn't a permanent solution but if you're looking for a permanent solution they make glue for that and then i did one of those couplers again to actually make the head or the helmet have somewhere to sit and this literally is just again some more foam sitting right up there to try to get this in the proper position and again you can play with this as much as needed I actually used, in order to cut this, I actually used a hacksaw, which actually cuts PVC very well, but you know, cut it however you need to. This worked great. You can use other types of saws. You can use a Dremel. So whatever floats your boat. The last thing I had to figure out was the arms. Now this actually kicked my ass pretty good. Um, I still need to go out and adjust these. This, this is actually with a heat gun and a hairdryer does not get hot enough to do this. You're gonna need a heat gun or even a blowtorch or an open flame if you ever actually had a bend PVC. And this is actually solid. This isn't gonna droop, but because of how I I made this 90 the arms were coming straight down and just they looked weird so what i did is i actually heated up this bar um, the pvc and just bent it out a little bit and it gave me that nice angle and then i also did the same thing at the elbow joint and i did the same thing for this one i actually added some foam to help hold the forearm and the bicep in and this still needs to get connected and now what i can do is i can actually twist the arm and move it around eventually i'm actually just going to throw some tape on this to hold it more secure getting the forearms to stay actually was a little bit of a problem and you can see a hook right here so what actually happens is i slide the forearm up since the biceps are free floating i slide the forearm up and that foam helps keep it in position. And then what happens is it goes past that hook and locks right in and it sits perfectly where it needs to. And then it, this all kind of get, the gap gets closed by the bicep and it looks fine. Getting the hands to stay on, that took me a lot longer than I wanted to admit. But what I landed on was an elastic band with a little bit of a clip. And what this does is this actually slides directly through the hand and I actually end up clipping it right through one of these fingers and you can just barely see it hiding right in there and it actually helps keep the hand up and i'm still adjusting it this arm i'm not happy with the positioning of it but this works now you can do whatever you want with this you can use a metal hook you can make another longer metal hook you can you know the sky's the limit i actually thought about making some type of pvc system that actually locks into the hand itself and then i can use a magnet or something to slide this up but play around with that it seems to work for me that really does it for this stand guys it's really just going getting some pvc pipe getting some foam getting some tape and playing around with it i'm actually going to need to make another one of these real soon for starboost because it's actually done printing but that's a whole other video entirely eventually what i would like to do is make this articulate um articulating and be able to move the joints be able to move the arms position it in different things within reason it'd be kind of cool to be able to you know get him to do the snap pose or whatever that whatever i want to do so there is advancement still coming with this but that'll be for a later video.
And there it is on the stand, looking all good. You can see how much better that the, uh, the left hand looks, the way I have the left arm kind of out a little more natural. Like I said, I still need to work on moving this one out, but as far as quick little PVC jobs go, I think it looks pretty good. It looks a lot more natural and a little more menacing, and it's actually a little bit taller than it was before and a little bit closer to the proper height. And it's also a really cool way to display the armor. It frees up space. And it also gives you a very good idea of how things are gonna look and fit. It can really help you kind of close up and continue working on a cosplay suit or an armor as you're building it. Cause you can actually visualize and see, all right, this is how it's supposed to look. Now get that onto me. Or you can use it to just make a statue if you're on in a cosplay. That just about does it guys. I hope that answered some of your questions and gave you a little bit of a better idea of how to make something like this. Um, it, it's, it's easy. Uh, you just have to get out there and do it. That's really it. Go buy the supplies. PVC pipe is super cheap. The, the solvent, duct tape, it's all pretty cheap. And if you're making something, you're putting the time into making a stand, you want it to look good. You know, you want the armor to be displayed properly. It's, you know, you don't want it just sitting in a corner in a pile. Like mine was for, unfortunately, uh, longer than it probably should have been. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to maybe see a future video about something, uh, drop a comment down below, message me on Instagram, the Discord. Um, I made a Twitch account. Uh, I'm going to be streaming a little bit of you know, workshop builds, just things that don't really fit on YouTube or would be way too long to make a video about. And it's literally me just working on projects. So go check that out. Uh, I promise you'll have a little bit of fun with it. And it's been a pretty cool so far. Um, don't worry, I'm not gonna turn into a Twitch streamer. It's just somewhere where I can kind of interact with you guys on a different level. If you haven't already, if you guys could uh, subscribe, that would be super awesome. I'd really appreciate it because uh, this is fun. Um, there's just so much going on, projects, this, that, whatever. Um, I'm hoping to make Starboost stand a little bit cooler, so we'll see how that goes. But I really appreciate it. If you guys want a little bit more interaction, please go check out the Discord. It's free. There's a link for that down below too. And I really appreciate everything you guys have been doing for me. And again, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and have a good day.